So these typhoon tur- turbines can withstand, like, it sounds like sustained 90, mi- 90 mile per hour gusts or winds and then up to 150 mile per hour gusts. So I guess on a small island like the like the Philippines, a regular wind turbine is just going to get destroyed if a typhoon comes through with its yeah. 100 plus yeah. mile per hour winds. Yeah. So this small startup is trying to harness that wind power because it's, I mean, that's way faster. I mean, a, a wind turbine has to get shut down at 55 miles per hour. So yep. like, hey, we have all this crazy wind, but the regular design won't work. So let's design something that can withstand these these typhoons and mm-hmm. harness that crazy amount of energy. I mean, it yeah, makes sense. It like is. that's an underserved market for sure. And some of these small islands yeah. can probably be, I mean, that that's probably a, a noticeable, meaningful amount of energy that they could they could get from just a couple of those on a small island. Oh, yeah. Obviously, being able to handle the worst weather, you have to be able to do that. Wherever wind turbines go, they got to be able to handle the worst weather plus some so you don't have yeah. to fail. But th- in this particular wind turbine, it's like a vertical wind turbine. And from what I can see, they got a, it's basically a rotating cylinder to create a uh, magnus effect, which then creates quasi lift or force so that the thing spins so it's like three of these rotating cylinders is that how yeah it looks yeah like it looks like there's a little fin attached to this each cylinder so it's like a flap so it's like a rotating yeah. cylinder and mm-hmm. like a flap on the backside. wow okay wow yeah. yeah well hey if they could introduce uh clean energy to places where the weather is extreme great why not right i mean i, I guess it sounds like you know the the, the word on the street where <laughs> what the the world organizations are saying that, that the weather's going to get more extreme, then we better be prepared for it. Maybe this is a good idea. Let's check yeah, it out. We can get, yeah, but these are a lot shorter also than, than the regular wind turbines. I mean, they're like, they look like they're only maybe 20, 30 feet high, which makes sense because is, these, that you know, these islands. Or, yeah, that's what it looked that, like. Okay. okay. I saw one so installed that, and it, it didn't look huh. very tall because I guess the winds are pretty severe probably at close to ground level anyway. Sure. So hmm. that's an interesting, interesting technology. I have to check it out some more. Yeah. So Chal Energy is the startup behind those.